Hey everyone, come on in, says Belle, and I'll teach you how to make cast iron skillet meatloaf. My family just loves it. It's kind that we always make. It's probably not what you want uh, if you were going to take it to a, an outing or, you know, to visit someone, a uh, party, and you were taking a dish. It probably wouldn't be that kind of a dish because this is probably what you would eat at home whenever because it's usually a little um, sloppy and don't come out all the time the best but it's so good and uh, my family uh, even likes it burnt a little uh, sometimes they wouldn't care if it's burnt a lot but i'll try not to burn it much today but meatloaf uh, in a, a cast iron skillet is the way my mama always made it and so that's just the way I do it and I love it. And it's a simple recipe. And I do sort of guess on some things of how much I put because of the way it feels and the way it looks, you know. And so I'm going to say that I, in my big cast iron skillet, which I did put a little bit of oil just around it, just so that it would uh, maybe not stick as much. But, um, you know, sometimes I put it in there because it's going to make a lot of juice and we'll have to pour that off anyways because it, uh, you know, hamburger meat, how it is, it, it makes plenty uh, of juice itself. Uh, so anyway, um, about a, a pound and a half of hamburger meat, ground hamburger meat, and um, an onion. So I've got my onion here and I'm going to put it in there. So then I'll put an egg. And that just helps hold everything together. So we're going to do that. Put our egg in here. And you got to have some salt and pepper, you know. So we're going to salt it. I probably like too much salt. This big old salt shaker, it really lets it out too. And so I have to be careful. And I have to have black pepper because that's just the way we always made. Make loaf has to have some black pepper in it. We'll make sure I got enough. Danny loves pepper. I like it. But he loves it. So, got to have a little of that. And then, let's see what else I need. Well, I need milk. And I've got a cup of milk. And I hope I ain't got too much. And I, that way, I can sort of tell you how much I used. But I'm going to pour it in here. And when I start stirring all this up, we're going to see if I put too much or not enough. And if I haven't put enough, I can put a little more. And that won't hurt nothing. Uh, I got a new little uh, gadget here, too, that's videoing and following me, so it's confusing me. <laughs> so let's hope uh, that I can get this all together here. It'll be real handy once I learn to, to use it real good. And so what I put in my meatloaf is crackers. So to about a pound and a half, I would put, oh, I'd say 15 crackers. I'm going to count these. Three, a few more to go but i like to crumble them up and i'm talking really crumble them up good you know some people will use uh light bread or they'll use stuff like that or um uh, i don't know if they use panko or not i've never heard anybody use panko but anyway uh, instead of light bread and i have used light bread before and uh it it makes it good and soft you know and and i do like it but Danny likes it a little better, maybe with crackers. So, saltine crackers, all you gotta have, maybe probably 15 of them. And that's uh, uh, not too hard, and it don't take too long to get all that crushed up. So, right now, you can see I got me a pile of stuff here. Now, I don't know how much ketchup I use, because I like to put it on top later on, too. But, I do have the oven uh, preheated on 400 so uh, and it will take probably since you've got onions in it chopped up you want to sort of chop them up little so that they will get done and Zeus is going to bark so just ignore him he sees boogers all the time so he's always takes uh, him a, a barking spell so that's okay but ketchup I'm just going to squirt it I don't know what that would equal out but I put plenty because that makes it good. It just gives it a good flavor. Then when I work it up real good, 
I guess you gotta get your fingers in this stuff, get your hands in here and massage it up real good. And you can tell, you know, you want it to be real moist. And so I'm gonna stir a little bit. I'm gonna sort of see. I'm gonna sort of see if I think this is enough because I don't want it dry. And that's how, that's where it, your milk comes in. See, if it's not uh, wet enough, it's not gonna be moist enough. And that looks pretty good if you could see this. But I might still take my milk and put me just another little tad in there. See, I'm gonna do that. So, we'll stir that up real good. And in a minute, I will be able to stick it in the oven and I, that's all there is to it. It's not, it's not hard at all. But now it's one of our favorite meals. Uh, I don't know, usually I buy two pounds of hamburger meat and my Thomas, my oldest son, he's he lives close. So on Friday night, he probably is off work and he, he'll probably come out here. So with other half pound, I'll probably make him a couple of burgers cause he's very picky. And he don't particularly like meatloaf, so I do spoil him, I suppose. So I make him a hamburger instead. So here is my meatloaf, and let me just show you. Hey, Zeus. Okay. This is what it looks like. Does that not look good? Don't that look good? Now, I think I got all my things in here. I'm gonna stick it in the oven. And I'm going to let that thing bake, and we'll get it out here after a while, and uh, see how it looks. And I'll tell you if I did a good job, and, and it's tasting good, and you can give it a go tonight. So, okay, everybody. Right now, I took my meatloaf out, and I am going uh, to pour off the excess grease, and I'm going to put my ketchup on it. Uh, and put it back in the oven. So I've been letting it bake about a half hour. Let me show you what it looks like. Right here it is. You see all that grease? Well, I'm gonna pour some off. I've just got this, so you gotta be careful because it shrinks and then it might fall out and you don't want that to happen. So I did that. I got that, that, that grease out of there. So then I'm gonna put my ketchup on top. Looks so good. Uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna be just right, I think. So I'm gonna put this on top, and you'll see what I'm saying when it gets done, how it's gonna look, and uh, just gonna be wonderful. I haven't had meatloaf in a while. Zeus, you gonna bark again? Uh, uh, but I haven't had one in a while, so I'm really looking forward to this right here. See, with uh, meat uh, loaf and mashed potatoes and rolls and peas, the perfect meal. Nothing could be any better. So, we're gonna stick that back in the oven and then we're going to be ready in less, probably less than a half hour and cut it and see what it looks like. Okay, I got something to show you. I still got it in the skillet. I haven't put it on a plate yet. And so I haven't cut it yet, but I wanted to show you in the skillet. Yes, I burn it. I burn it some, and, and, and Danny is going to love that. And I, I like it like that too. So I'm going to cut me a piece, and then I'll put it on the plate, and I'll show you how good it looks. Okay, here we go. We've got our meatloaf. See? That's the way we cut it. We cut it in triangles because it's in a, a round skillet when it's made. And then here we go. I'll give you a close up look and see how it's standing. Just out of the oven. Got the onions, ketchup on it. I'm gonna give this a bite. Mm. Yeah, uh, Danny's gonna be real happy tonight when he comes in. He's gonna say, oh boy, we haven't had that in a while. So I hope everybody's doing good. And I want uh, you to come back and visit me if you enjoy my recipes. It's just home cooking, and that's the way I cook. And, and uh, if you want to be a country cook and you want to be an Appalachian cook, 
You watch me and I'll teach you what I know. So come back soon as Country Sherry at Country Sherry 23. Have a good day. Okay, I thought I'd take a picture of this before I started eating it, so, but, and I would forget about it. So I'm getting ready to munch down and I'm gonna be very satisfied.